Hello. So, fish here, and to 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 give a playthrough of the Lava Planet version 1.1, which uh, which was uh, released a few months ago, uh, quietly. But yeah, it's there. So this one has a little bit of difference from from uh, Lava Planet 1.0 released uh, in in spring of spring of uh, 2021. So I'll try to point out also these differences. Let's go ahead. Uh, let me know in the chat if the audio is is in any if if I'm too loud or the, if the game music is too loud. Let me know. I think I I hope it will be fine. Okay, thanks for conf confirming. Okay, regarding this this playthrough. I'll go with the assumption for everyone who's viewing this either live or, or um, later on uh, as a recording that you've at least played the, the original level one, so you're at least acquainted with it more or less. So uh, I suppose uh, that's not that. <laughs> I suppose most players anyway will will have tried it at least once earlier. Uh, so yeah, usual uh, usual stuff. Yeah, good good point uh, if you've got any questions uh, ask them on ask them on uh, discord or on twitch during the stream but also I'm, I'm I'm most of the time I'm available also on discord so you can ask the questions either during the session or sometime later if you're watching this video uh, uh, if you're watching a recording of this video then uh, still there are good chances you'll find me on, on uh, DF21 Discord and uh, I'll try to answer any questions that come my way. And one more thing, yeah, uh, if you haven't played this level or haven't played it enough yet, there will be lots of spoilers here. So in this play, in this uh, uh, playthrough, I'll show all of the all of the secrets, including the big, se ultra super mega extra secret. Uh, so yeah, if if you wanna if you want to to discover them on their own on your own, th yeah, you've been warned. There lo there will be lots of uh, uh, all of the secrets actually have will be revealed here. Okay, let's dive into it. Uh, one thing you have maybe noticed if you already played uh, this yourself, it it has it has abs this this uh, briefing screen contains absolutely no. Uh, no images, and that's because I because there is only a limitation of um, I think 150 kilobytes of uh, of the of the image size, and there was no way to actually keep um, to 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 uh, include any images. W whereas I wanted to include all of this text. Actually, I wanted to include double as much text because yeah, because there is lots of uh, background background info to uh, to the plot I wanted to give but I had to live with yeah, cutting it a lot and, and living lots of the, on the cutting room floor and yeah uh, living without any living without any images uh, but yeah essentially a reminder so the idea is to to uh, meet the agent in uh, Narshada where where the mission starts then travel with the with the with an undercover helper to to the Warstrad planet and to investigate what's what is in the in the Imperial freighter Adel that crashed on the on the planet. Yeah, uh, so that's more or less it. Let's begin with the mission. So as you see in the bottom right corner, it's already version 1.1, which is which has already been available at the time I'm recording this. So in in er, first days in, in around middle of uh, uh, January 2022, it's already now and has been available on on DF21 downloads for for a couple of months. Okay, so we start here in the in the at one of the docks of uh, Narshada landing pads rather, and I'll try with the first string. First string right away. Uh, the the other the other landing pad is supposed to be reachable by by jumping, but I've placed it here so here close to the to the level uh, start so that even if you don't succeed, uh, you can just restart and not lose not lose too many lives. It's it's not that rewarding. You get a little bit of ammunition and that's it. And uh, the the uh, that yeah, I'll try to have a 
similar successful jump. Yeah, there is a question, where did the sound effects come from? Uh, actually, I recorded, recorded them using some, some bit of uh, wizardry, use, uh, uh, wi using uh, synth uh, speech synth uh, synthesis uh, software, found some good, uh, good sounding female and male voices, and uh, yeah, recorded some of the announcements. They all make sense, actually. I don't know whether, you, whether, whether everyone managed to understand what they say, but actually they are something like, yeah, uh, the, the registry number of this and that, and uh, pay attention to your cargo declaration, and uh, someone is, is uh, something. But yeah, they're all fully synthetic voices, uh, but I found pretty good, synth good synthesis software. Anyway, now, uh, one of the things here to... to uh, th I got questions, what the hell is this on the floor? These are actually sectors, of course. Is, is anyone who played Dark Forces know these are actually sectors? Uh, but this is ac an Hour of Bash uh, letter, uh, which tries to yeah, show the... Which, which should be like visible for, for the ship's landing here. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the, the level has lots of uh, ways to, do, uh, to, to reach the same point. I'm now taking the longer path to show all of the level and, and to investigate all of it. So, a reminder, we are starting as in a position of a relative, uh, where Kyle is um, still just some random guy in Nar and not, not someone that uh, Imperials would, would discover on site, so, uh, would, would uh, recognize, sorry, would recognize on site and fire. So, the first half of the game, similar to the previous one, was largely, uh, was largely uh, uh, f first part of the ga first segment of the game rather is largely uh, just exploration and solving puzzles not really much fighting there is a little bit of fighting here is the first secret already in one of the crates so classic classic dark forces uh, uh, secret uh, within the crates uh, and uh, yeah this is let's let's take the elevator down there is other way to reach the lower floor let's look at this one the cargo elevator. Yeah, I'll share the, the software, speech synthesis software later. Okay, so uh, here we are on the on the bottom bottom floor of of Narshada, of this of this section at least of Narshada. And uh, if you explore enough, you will rec you'll find soon enough you'll find the switch for which you need a blue key. Will come here later. There are lots of areas uh, where. where you may you may ask yourself what what purpose do these areas serve? What purposes? The answer is none really, except for for immersion. And uh, yeah, this is one of the things I like a lot. And th this is my my uh, yeah. I would say I love this effect a lot. Using using sector geometry to simulate these lighting effects. So uh, yeah, I, I quite like it. And maybe I even overdo it in a while. Uh, also, also, for example, if you go this this entire area, this this lounge area, something like VIP guests lounge, it serves no purpose. It it only contains this this med kit, which you basically don't need. But uh, uh, it's here partly partly uh, inspired. I should I should uh, uh, admit partly inspired by one of my favorite all time favorite levels in Dark Forces, and that's prelude uh, to to Hark of Defection. Which, uh, uh, which is a uh, yeah, which has lots of this. I, I would say you can finish, uh, you can you can easily finish the prelude to Harkov's defection without seeing six, sixty or seventy percent of its sectors at all. So it has so many auxiliary areas, but it uh, which we don't, which ab you absolutely don't ever need to see to finish the game. But it really makes the makes the level so much better. So I was lo I was inspired a lot by by Harkov for when when developing this level. And yeah, I tried to recreate it in, in uh, to to follow the same to the same principles as uh, as Matthias von Hermann did when when he was developing Harkov. So yeah, some more of the areas which you don't have to even visit, you don't even have to visit. But yeah, I, I found them nice to include. This elevator leads back to the crow. So there, as said, there are several ways to, to reach the main concourse. So this area. Which where most of the action happens in this in this uh, part of the game, so yeah, uh, this glass elevator was a nightmare to to develop d d uh, using tons of INF uh, scripting. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Okay, so let's head to the first. Let's head to the to the bar. We already know by visiting that floor below that we need to find the blue key, and. Uh, uh, 
but and we will we'll get it but let's go let's head to the bar uh, no station ever makes sense if you don't have a nice bar and uh, yeah here is Narshada's uh, one of the it's fancy fancy bars on the other hand on the other side of it there is one also one fun thing and I don't mean the pro prog rock uh, prog rock uh, transition band but rather this by the way for people who will be interested what song is this this song is the name of this song they are playing the loop is the Battle of the Locust. The band is Aphrodite's Child from 1970s. Uh, anyway, the the sprites for these transitions uh, I've actually done by by uh, borrowing, so to speak, uh, the figurine of uh, of a transition uh, and and taking a couple of photos of it, returning it undamaged later, uh, and. Yeah, combined all of these and somehow try to cut all these photos into some useful frames. They're they're not the only ones. So if you go around, you'll notice that there are also some. Uh, uh, yeah, here you've got, for example, three, three, uh, uh, three examples of uh, custom sprites. Anyway, here is a Captain Convergate. One more reference to the to the uh, the Luto Hark of Defection. Uh, sorry, not to. Uh, not just the loot heart of defection. This guy appears in the loot heart of defection, but also the other reference is the is to Barry Bryan's uh, Barry Bryan's assassination on Nar Shada, which uh, in which the main objective, but in the role of Boba Fett, is to assassinate Priga the Hut. And this is actually the 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 detail that this Captain Convergate mentioned here. You see it at the top. So this is a double reference to two of two two of the great Dark Forces custom levels. But okay, that much for the bar. There, again, the, the, this entire area is fully optional, so you can finish the game without ever entering it. But, as usual it is, you, you cannot have a bar... You, you cannot have a level without a bar, and you cannot have a bar without a toilet. And then you cannot have a toilet without a secret. And here we go. Yeah, you know. In Dark Forces, as, you, as soon as you see, usually as soon as you see uh, restroom, you know there is some secret nearby, and here it is in this level. And it has a nice concussion rifle and lots of little other goodies. Quite correctly, Kyle doesn't want to enter the other uh, uh, the other restroom. It's only for ladies. But okay, let's find that blue key. The blue key is here below. Let's take this elevator down. And here is another secret. So uh, you see here that the door is openable, which is visible from the map by this yellow line. So so its its uh, door uh, is marked with 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 the yellow line, meaning it is openable. Because in this version 1.1, I've removed these yellow 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 markers on all doors that aren't actually openable. So there is an indication there is a way to open this, and it's actually a secret. So if you look up, you can shoot these three switches and open the door, which has some, yeah, not excessively much, but it has some goodies. But we need to go on here. So uh, yeah, as you see here, lots of custom custom uh, graphics I did, and actually all of them, if I remember well, but they were done 19 years ago. So excuse me, please. D most of them actually make sense. They they say something in English, but I must admit I've, I've forgotten already. We can throw. We need to to hit that first switch. The second one doesn't make much, but just starts makes this uh, huge mixer start rolling. But this is actually the area we need. And thanks to one of the suggestions now in version 1.1, this propeller or mixer is slower and easier to jump on. You need to use it to jump in... in okay, at first, at first the attempt didn't work. Let's try with the second one. Oh, demo effect. Okay. A little bit against the stream. And there is a little switch with a laser with some kind of fire okay which opens another one 
and here we come to the to the important part. Here are the Imperials, and here one one design idea. Uh, I placed the the glass here so that you are already aware. So you're not just fired upon uh, immediately, but you already know that you're going to face some opposition after probably what is a couple of minutes of, of stalking around. So so you are the player is prepared and knows that there will be some some fighting. So the game is so that the level pretends to be as fair as possible. Okay, uh, so these guys have have had a perfect job of of show of uh, having a look at some some uh, uh, some. Uh, okay, this guy didn't notice. This guy actually has the has the key, the blue key we need, and this switch. When the switch opens the door, which leads it back to the concourse. So again, one one uh, uh, design design uh, a thing I like a lot is once you, re you reach some intermediate objective in the game, uh, it's I, I usually am the one who dislikes having to backtrack all the thousand kilometers back to the to the to the thing I need. So as soon as I've got it, there is an easy way to return back to the game. So uh, I, I like that design detail in uh, in other games. So I try to pull. It. Once you have the blue key, you don't have to backtrack all the way back, but you can just uh, uh, yeah head where you need, where you know you need to go. And now we can open this the control area of, of this section of Narshada. The most important thing is switch back there, but there are some goodies to pick up here as well. Yeah. Now that I've collected all of the secrets, I quite oh, I've quite a lot. Anyway, this switch is the important thing. It enables the bridge, which has been, which has so far until this point been disabled, and that's the bridge that leads us to the other side of Narshada, other other section of Narshada city. Now in version 1.1, it's a bit easier to to uh, to, to uh, it, it's it's slightly easier to uh, navigate through all these uh, through all these uh, corridors because some of these some of these uh, uh, folks don't have the don't have the collision radius any longer. So that was one of the problems with the version 1.0. Uh, about the question from from uh, from Twitch. Uh, Mostly, I don't. All switches that user see, sees are hittable. They, they are all pressable, but uh, uh, some of them actually do something which is only cosmetic. So, the, the, as said, for example, that switch down there in the water processing plant, uh, it just starts the, the propeller, the mixer, but that in itself doesn't help much. The other switch is one which is which is important. So, you can tinker around with the level, but not everything really helps you. But some things are just for fun. Anyway, we have now we can open the bridge. There was a question also why why cannot I why cannot the player step on the bridge while it extends? Because th this these mechanics behave quite weirdly in dark forces. Uh, although it is mostly possible, sometimes there are weird glitches, so I simply had to forbid it, so to speak, using INF the, uh, uh, until the until the bridge extends. Now, once it extends, everything is fine, but during the, that extension, yeah, the mechanics are a bit weird and uh, it somehow got possible to, to fall down without... Yeah, anyway, behaved somehow weird. Okay, we need to open the door here. And now we get we got into the second uh, uh, section of the of the of Narshada. Uh, yeah, oh, obviously a poster for that band, Prog Rock. Uh, uh, Trandoshan band back there. Uh, some more rooms which don't serve much purpose than cosmetic ones. So, for example, you can come here and do nothing else but stare at the uh, stare at the, at the transporter and at, on the on the landing pad. But here we've got one secret. This is something like an industrial area, whatever. Uh, and uh, here we've got one secret. This one will be. Uh, I'll, I'll show later why is it important. Why is it important? It holds this fusion powder. Okay. At this point, of course, we won't be needing we won't be needing much weapons. But there you are. And here is the another big another important thing. So here we are getting to, to some uh, okay, some pickups. Here we are getting to the important part. Uh, this energy generator plays a role in in ex in in, uh, in, the, in continuation of. of game so it's quite close to this uh, it's quite close to this uh, uh, force field and it suggests by also being bo both being this green that one controls the other and uh, yeah currently as you see it, it's user cannot reach it player cannot reach it and here we've got some codes and playing around with them a bit you can select uh, yeah a 
about um, among 16 options for three screens. It's far too much. It's 4,096, if I'm not mistaken. Combinations that can be done. So obviously, uh, there has to be a hint somewhere. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this 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 uh, uh, suggests to the player that they have to find some kind of a code, including including these these uh, uh, including these letters, these symbol symbols. And on we go. Uh, here is one more section which is not really needed to, which is not really required to visit, but again, it's, yeah, I found it nice architectural detail. And here we go down. Here is another secret. This wall actually holds another secret. It's, it has a, yeah, my possibly my favorite weapon in Dark Forces. And another elevator leads to the leads to the Imperial section. And now this is a little bit of a surprise, by intention. We open here, confronted by the, by the, by the imperial troops. But it serves its purpose. It serves its uh, gameplay purpose because it makes you, uh, supposedly, it uh, it makes you feel uh, that you you are. Um, that something is changed, so you're not just exploring, exploring, exploring and so on, but something is going on, uh, you've reached something important. That's what I try to, in between the lines, what I try to suggest to the, to the, to the player uh, as soon as they get fired upon. So these guys are probably protecting something important. As for the hints for, se uh, for the secrets, uh, yeah, sometimes there are, no, there are no real hints, but just uh, if, for example, you, you keep on going straight and then you have to make a turn, uh, but you try to go straight, like it was the case in that uh, secret previously, uh, there is a secret. Some, some other cases there are hints, and sometimes you just have to explore. This is not officially a secret, but if you go behind the elevator, you find this not really secret, but let's say it's, it's partially hidden extra life. Anyway, deeper we go into the, uh, into the into Imperial area, and there is a switch here at the end. When you hit it, one screen lights up. That's this one, and yeah, guess what? It shows it shows a code of these uh, uh, shows a code with uh, uh, using the symbol we've seen previously. So at this point, the, the player knows what do they have to do back there. This time they really have to backtrack, but it's not really a big big journey back. Okay, here we go. Let's enter the code. So, reverse C, and a decorated U, and uh, Q at the lack of a better word. Okay, there is that little bleep. It suggests that the code is correct, and now we can hit the switch and turn the power down. So this force field is no longer uh, uh, no longer here. We can enter the room, and uh, we can hit the switch. As per usual, uh, uh, good design principles next to a switch. If, if if the switch controls something which is far away, there should always be a window for the user to s for the player to actually see what what's happening, what will happen once they hit the switch. So. Uh, in this case, that door down there will open. Let's do it, and yeah, user can see right away that the big door leading to the to the landing pad opened. So that's it. Uh, okay, let's then head back there. This large area is maybe nice for exploring, but almost nothing here is open. So all of these doors are just for for show, as well as uh, imp imperial troops around here. But uh, uh, these two are what these two are what what's important. The left one is optional, but it leads to a good bonus, to a good nice pickup. It uh, lets you pick up the night vision goggles, which will be useful in the in the, in the second st second uh, half of the game. And the right one leads us leads us to the ship that we need. For. Okay, some more of these optional rooms here, which don't, uh, which you don't really have to see, but I like. I, I wanted to add as much as I could, and one more. And this is the this is the ship we need to board. Yeah, when you've got only sectors, it's not really easy to, to make a nice, believable ship. On the on the map, it looks maybe like a well badly drawn airplane. But there you are. Uh, here also, just all of this is uh, optional, but just for 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 fun. Anyway, let's board the ship.
we've, 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 so far we've now already seen uh, everything there was to see in our shot Here is our pilot. Okay. Uh, that voice uh, you heard is again uh, uh, a is again generated by a, by a voice generator. It's synthesized speech, but I I garbled it and and uh, put it in reverse to make it a little bit uh, yeah to make it sound like something alien. Uh, now I got a couple of times I got a question: Why is this not a place where where the where the level where where it where the, this level ends and another one would begin? The next one I like to keep this some this as some kind of an immersion. So so ma many uh, uh, many games have have exactly avoided that in order to to somehow keep the player in the in the in the. Uh, yeah, let's 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 put it that way. Yeah, immersed into the game. So anyway, the guy now says, take these these uh, fire suit and head down to the planet. And this is actually where the second section of the game begins. So down we go. Okay, so now I've I've uh, uh, this was one of the big biggest. Uh, uh, maybe I, I must have spent hours, if not if not days, trying to make uh, this first area as. Um, let's say as dramatic as possible I tried to find a good combination of, of colors black and yellow and red Th these are actually the new lava textures that that uh, uh, that uh, uh, were that were created by by uh, Vex Fidel or uh, also also known as Sigbase Unlimited and thanks for that as also but also also the sound design uh, so there is this rumble in the background I don't know how audible is it but uh, yeah try to try to make it as as uh, yeah, as dramatic as possible, so, uh, as a as a total let's put it this way as a total contrast to the to the Narshada, which is chatty and full of technology and so on. And here here you now are on the st not stranded, but well, uh, having to deal with the uh, with the with the quite unhospitable planet, where Imperials are roaming around. So but on we go. So let's explore a bit. There are a couple of ways to go here, and I'll try to follow the same steps I envisioned for the player. So usually they would just follow the. the uh, I hope they would just follow the trail of the lava and descend down here. Oops. And go and try explore here. So there are some jumping puzzles, but wherever I not, not really jumping puzzles, but player needs to to jump over here and wherever I had this I try to make it as lenient as possible so it's always possible to to yeah if you fall in lava it's possible with just one one jump back to step on the platform it's forgiving enough as uh, so so yeah not really not really a disaster if you don't make it now before I enter this area one one little uh, comment on the enemy placement here and uh, it's as follows. So uh, I tried to here orchestrate the enemy placement to to uh, to mislead you from the from the enemy which you don't see. So uh, when I enter, there there are two stormtroopers to the left, and there is an officer to the right, which you which is you're supposed to see afterwards. So your attention would be first to the straight forward, as as yeah, as you as. Uh, as as uh, uh, one would naturally na one would naturally look forward, and then their distraction would be would be uh, drawn to towards to the right. But in behind the shelf, there is a there is a droid which is which is placed so it appears after four or five seconds, so it surprises you from behind. Let's take a look. So you, you see these guys, and you see someone fires to you from the right, and you say, "Okay, now I've cleaned the area," but there is a droid that that appeared from behind the shelf. So this is a uh, uh, yeah it's w it's a little bit orchestrated by intention to to keep you yeah to keep the player uh, uh, a bit surprised by by this maybe some some who are very um, experienced would know what the trick is but yeah I tried it anyway okay deeper we go into the into the into the caves of the lava planet with lots of ambient sounds and so on and here is the second important thing. I don't mean the, the concussion wielding uh, enemy, but rather this. So uh, it's ob obvious to everyone at this point that it's impossible to reach the the other side by 
uh, by jumping it's this this lava is far too low uh, but uh, as you see there is a pickup there and this is one of the design features if there is a pickup user consciously or subconsciously already knows that it should be reachable some way if there is an intentionally placed pickup there must be a way to reach it so they will try to to hopefully they will try to find a way and that there is a lava in the mean uh, in the in the between uh, shows that there should be a way to to pass over that lava to somehow raise its level and that's exactly what the user needs to do that's the part of this puzzle uh, Okay, and for that we need to partially backtrack and go take this other cave. Stop where you are. Okay, this is just a view, but this this is actually what we need. Again, the same thing. For those who are not sure whether they can jump easily over this, there is a pickup on the other side suggesting that yes, that is intentionally is. That's, that's where you should go. The idea was to let you let you there. Okay, now some more enemies. And now here I got one when when uh, for the version 1.1 I got the suggestion to make this this dam even more uh, uh, obvious or or to, to give a hint to the puzzle, where Kyle uh, says to himself that uh, this is a naturally formed dam which seems a little bit fragile. Uh, before we go on, we'll uh, we'll take we'll grab a secret. If you are, if, if for those who are willing to sacrifice a little bit of health, here is a secret containing a revive and, and some some detonators. Let's get back. And now the suggestion is to the user: yeah, if if it looks a little bit fragile, it should be destructible, and it is. And what happens is, is now this this starts uh, uh, this this level here, this lava flow starts to this lava here starts to flow and raises the level which su which should suggest for the users who for the players who who watch the watch the uh, map see that the that the, this other area where user couldn't jump over the lava previously was it, uh, is actually downstream so with a little bit of uh, yeah considering uh, the the map it should be obvious well it shouldn't be obvious but uh, they they could come to the conclusion that that the lava level back there uh, now was, is, is high enough for the user for, for the um, for Kyle to attempt to jump and that's exactly what happened so let's get back there Oops. my jumping as good as ever okay only just back through here where we already passed to this yeah, as you see now, lava is just high enough to to jump. It's not re it's it's possible to lose uh, to if jumping is done well. Uh, Kyle will lose only a very small bit of health. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really that bad. Okay, some more jumping needed. I'll take care of these enemies first. Okay, so. From the from one edge to the other edge, that is quite a good jump. And now we reach the lava river. I'll take care of the concussion uh, guard first. Okay, and now we reach the lava river, and a little look down there reveals the the dreaded the dreaded. Uh, uh, mountaineering or, or descending down these shelves it's not actually if, if you're slow enough it's not actually that hard and again this jump here that is needed is quite forgiving so so you can just jump back up and and on the shelf you won't lose too much health but yeah try to for example like this if you miss it completely you can just jump back and uh, yeah still in relatively good shape be back so yeah these look horrible but are but are quite forgiving Okay, a little bit of ascending up the stairs now. You're and there is one. Okay, besides the enemies, there is now a little little ammunition hold here, which you already saw from the other side. So uh, it's uh, yeah, here we've got some more ammunition, which which is uh, which is visible from the other side from these shelves down there. Okay, now let's backtrack. So 
Now, this cave ends ends with a descent. Uh, although it's not uh, obvious that users should descend down here, somehow everything so far has led to this point. So, so yeah, somehow player is led to believe yeah that there's nothing else you you can do. So that's the obvious way to go forward. Uh, although some would maybe think this leads to death and there is something else, but yeah, uh, uh, the map suggests that this is exactly the, the thing you have to, where you have to go. As soon as, oh, I'll turn the lights off, as soon as we drop there somewhere in the fluid, too convenient to fell into the lava river, but behind there is uh, another puzzle. And this is, yeah, another uh, dreaded jumping puzzle, but again, it can be, it can be uh, uh, even if you miss, you won't lose too much health. With these with these bits of, of rocks occasionally, yeah, being jump usable as platform and not, I'll try to now. Okay, and here is the third secret of the planet. This secret tries to tries to take the advantage of users so being focused on jumping forward, th they would never uh, have the time to look behind and, and have a, have a secret there. Anyway, that was the, that's the penultimate secret. There are some enemies down here. Down we drop and. Uh, We'll get here. We'll get here later. But for now, let's 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 take the main path. And this this little cave leads us to the final area. You okay. I hope that this was all of them. So now, uh, the idea was once you, you come this way up, uh, uh, this should be the shape that most that most uh, Star Wars fans will prob hopefully and uh, hopefully recognize as, as the shape of the Imperial Freighter. It took lots of uh, blood, sweat and tears to, to make it really look believable enough and there's lots of uh, uh, wizardry with, with, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, textures involved to, ma to, make, to, to make this shape. Uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's not really the uh, yeah. At the end of the day, it, it's not perfectly covering that. It's not a perfect representation of what you see in Tie Fighter. But yeah, I hope I, I was hoping it would be good enough for folks who know the, the who know the, the um, who know the Star Wars world about the slopes. Uh, the the question about the slopes, how were they done? This is not a, three, a huge three D O object. Actually, these are these here. Are the huge uh, textures which have the transparent bits? So these are all one, uh, one part uh, textures which have been exactly designed and and, uh, and drawn to fit in this area perfectly, and and uh, pixel perfectly, and and have the the, the have the the uh, uh, have the the uh, yeah the exact needed proportions to 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 fit in there and to somehow present this shape. You know, you can if you are very if you have very good, uh, uh, if you have very good eyes, you'll notice a little bit of a stitching problem here, uh, which I simply couldn't, I couldn't find a way to do it. Sometimes the engine simply has these limitations, but altogether, uh, this took yeah maybe several days of fine adjustments until I got these textures as I need. But okay, this is not about uh, uh, about <laughs> this. Th this video is not only about that, so let's go on. And here is the last secret, last regular secret. By this point, you won't really be needing lots of secrets any longer, but it it is here anyway. Uh, fusion cutter and lots of ammunition, and now we're ready to enter the wrecked freighter. Here is the elevator, and here is the oscilloscope or something conveniently placed here so you can jump. Okay. The right one is uh, locked, but you can enter uh, the, the player can enter the left side. Just destroy this so I don't die unnecessarily if someone hits it. There are some enemies down there. 
Okay, we have to go forward and uh, we have to try and uh, enter the region. Enter the ship, ship cockpit. Uh, that's the only. That's the only. Uh, uh, let's say that's that's the main objective in 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 the freighter is to reach its cockpit. Here are the doors. I I custom try. I try to custom uh, draw for this for this mission. One more. And here. Are the enemies. Okay, that's all for this ship. So yeah, uh, if it wasn't obvious right away, this is uh, this is the the uh, this is the cockpit of the wreck freighter. Uh, but there is there there is nothing you can do. So so for players who thought maybe there is a way to to hijack it, no no not really. That's why there are no obvious switches here. The point is actually to search this rear area or behind the cockpit and take the objective. Here is the object we've been looking for. That's the one. And yeah, as yeah, as as easy as it sounds, we just have to pick it up. And now Jan comes. Kyle Jan, device is secured. I'm on my way out. Kyle, I'm tracking the signal of your beacon. Head northwest from the red crater. I see a small shaft where I can pick you up from. So she sees a small shaft where she can pick Kyle up, pick up Kyle from. And now a little bit of iron still comes into play for the final, final section of this of this level. Okay. At this point, uh, this was a good suggestion from uh, by Jared, I think. There is a sound and there is a there is a uh, there is a minor rock fall uh, somewhere near, and uh, will will uh, and makes you makes you reinvestigate what what has happened in the in the neighborhood. As for uh, Jan's, uh, as for as for the sound of Jan. Uh, uh, reporting that's again speech synthesis so so I didn't uh, didn't find anything useful in the sound library but actually just found in a speech synthesis software uh, a female voice which which sounds closest to to, to Jan anyway uh, this the, the rock fall made this thing appear here so it's also different in color to be more easily distinguishable uh, uh, if user is just you know having a quick look around and it suggests that now it's possible to jump up this shelf so yeah this was Jared's idea and it works quite well and it allows us the the yeah this in, it allows the player to reach this left section and now a little bit of a little bit more of uh, lava jumping, which leads us leads us to another room where there is quite yeah quite a difficult concussion commando. We can still we can take this. Although at this point we don't need much uh, ammunition any longer. And another uh, another another corridor leads us to the crow where where hopefully. Uh, Jen will find a way back home with. So yeah, at this point the game is yeah that's that's the end of the mission and the, and uh, the player can end it and that's perfectly fine. But at this point the super 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 ultra secret is uh, available for those who want to 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 um, to really find it. Even if you go if even if you uh, uh, go the the uh, usual way, uh, you can you can. Uh, uh you can just usually, uh, as usual, end the uh, end the game and no problem. But yeah, for those extremely willing to find the secrets, they will. Uh, you can uh, you can search, and I'll show you now where it is for those who haven't yet found it. So there are some hints or suggestions which at, which at least should give you give you some idea of what to do because once we we came to this area which which is after these difficult jumping puzzles there is a tunnel which allows getting all the way back so this co this uh, this is a long as you see on the map a very long uh, uh, very long passageway which you can use to get back although there is no obvious reasons to get back so if you came that far in the game there is no obvious reasons to actually uh, uh, to 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 actually get back, so th there must be some purpose for this tunnel, and there is. Yeah, it is exactly here, you know, to let you reach the to let you reach the uh, tunnel, to let you uh, via this tunnel to reach the the final super secret area. So again, warning: there are some spoilers for that part as well. 
So here we are back at the place where we started from, so or at least started the, the lava planet section from, and we'll go back to the one area we already saw. Okay, some more navigation. Okay, here we are. So there was that secret, remember, here behind. At this point now, this secret leads to another super, super, super secret, and. Uh, uh, yeah, if you enter it, it will tell you you found the super secret area, but it's easy to get stuck, so... Uh, yeah, there's some warning, which here now, unfortunately, was interwoven with the, with the end of mission uh, messages, but anyway, yeah, it says uh, there are some... Yeah, you can easily get stuck if you don't know what you're doing. The first puzzle in this ultra in, in ultra secret area is to f find a way to open the door and this one is actually very simple because here it's not complete darkness but it's only black painted walls which leads to a, which leads to a switch which opens the, the uh, which opens the area it's not really darkness but uh, these are actually black walls walls with black texture so they seem like darkness quite a simple trick to be honest this leads us to the next uh, ultra secret. First, I'll grab the super ultra cannon, which is so important. The door opens so very slowly and reveals the drama of taking the cannon. And here it is. And now the thing is, the, the puzzle, the next puzzle is this. So uh, you have to switch to hit all of these three switches at the same time. And uh, it's essentially, I made it to be nearly impossible to do without, uh, without some incre insane skills. But the way it's possible to do is to use, a, to use the fusion, fusion cutter uh, alternate mode. And that's why it's important to find at least one of the two secrets where this uh, fusion cutter actually uh, can be picked up. Normally, in normal gameplay you won't find it, but if you, there are two secrets that hold this fusion cutter. One here on the lava planet and one was back there in Narshara. And you can use the alternate fire to, to hit all of them three at the, all three of them at the same time and open this, open this door. And now he, here we come to maybe the, the, the puzzle, to, to the hardest puzzle of all. And uh, I actually I actually thought thought it up in 1990, sorry, in, in 2000 or something. Uh, and uh, I found it so hard that, it, uh, that I decided not to really make it uh, an... Um, let's say let's let's say not to make it required f to for the player to end the game but rather something like an ultra riddle for for some crazy cra crazily obsessed guys to to try to and figure out so there are six uh, uh, laser cannons there i'll destroy five of them first which are, which we don't need just so they don't uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, disturb us so okay one more. Okay, what remains is one one cannon there. And here if you look through the through the carefully through the window, there is one switch we, which you cannot hit when you sh which you cannot reach, but it's shootable. So uh, I it's not you who cannot reach it as a player, but the, the cannon can. And the way to make the cannon hit it is to, to damage it enough that it enters its berserk mode. And uh, after a while, within its berserk mode, it will hopefully it will hopefully hit the, the hit hit the switch. It usually takes seven hits. Okay, now it's in berserk mode, and now all we have to do is wait until it hits that switch there. Sometimes it happens within within like uh, ten seconds. Sometimes within two minutes. But uh, let's see. Okay, finally it happened. So it lets us enter. I'll just for the for the sake of sound, I'll, I'll destroy it now. And this leads to the final one. And here, yeah, uh, some people uh, understood it, this as a toilet, some as a little monument, some as a as a as a as a, as a tomb, as a grave. But uh, the the idea is as follows. So there is this arrow pointing towards the towards the area. The idea is to, to grab the the. The solution is to grab the the shield supercharge and wedge myself directly in this 
V-shaped area. And if I'm perfect, this positions perfect positions the player perfectly, so that if they destroy the, any of these barrels, the explosion will bring them up to this shelf, which is hundreds of units up. Uh, which is hundreds of units higher, so there is no way to ever reach it by, by any other means but uh, but that. So uh, uh, it, it you have to align perfectly, but without that guidance, without the without that little um, V-shaped uh, wedge or corner, it would be impossible for for the user to really align perfectly. So it would be a bit unfair. But this way, if you wedge yourself nicely in there and shoot any of the any of these explodable barrels, the the explosion will throw you up here. Uh, next to this uh, gran and, and uh, uh, which these two guys seem to be completely uninterested and unimpressed by Kyle have making what must be one of the biggest uh, uh, athletic uh, achievements of, of the galaxy. So uh, yeah, jumping several hundred meters high. So these guys are pretty pretty uh, cold-blooded and unimpressed by his feet. This leads us to the final area of the entire game, which is the ultra super secret. It leads us to guess what? To the to the tourist office of the nice and beautiful lava planet with the obligatory uh, obligatory map and uh, uh, comic sense uh, signs, which are again uh, cannot be avoided in any tourist office. The final pickup uh, you can have in this game uh, is is are actually the tourist brochures, which are here in in nice abundance. So Leva Planet Tourist Brochure written Comic Sans font. That is the ultimate secret of the entire level. And uh, yeah, it lets you go on. Okay, a little bit of uh, fun uh, fun uh, references to, to the other big to the other level which uh, which uh, which uh, which was a big inspiration for, for this Lava Planet and that was the Mount Karek. One of the my old time one of my old time favorites. I I I was lots uh, lots of the elements of this game uh, were of this of this mission were inspired by Mount Karek, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to have a little, little homage to it here. Th this is actually the end of the game. There is nothing else to. We've seen all. We've taken all. We've, we've discovered everything. These are explodable. Again, uh, this supposedly leads somewhere, but no, there is no. This this is really the end of the game. Yeah, so that's it. That's that's about the game. Th this is this is uh, what I w this is more or less in a nutshell the, the lava planet. I hope you liked it. If you've got some questions now, uh, fire. Uh, yeah, about the idea for the lava planet. Uh, I guess I was. I, I there there are two reasons. One wa one was as said uh, the Mount Correct which was maybe among the first five levels I ever played, uh, custom levels uh, I ever played, and uh, custom missions. And the second was somehow something to do with the colors. So when I was actually preparing the first, uh, the, the, the previous, the fourth quad level, uh, I, I prepared maybe 10 or 15 versions of Skies. And at the end of the day, I, I settled for the blue one. But I've, I always found this red one interesting for, for to be used somewhere else. And in combination with black, rocks and cliffs and and lava i somehow found this uh, red black yellow idea very good in a, in an artistic sense if you know what i mean so so i tried to i went with the idea trying to make a f level based on on that kind of aesthetic but uh, on the other hand i didn't want to make the entire level just with lava and and uh, and, and black rocks so that's why that's why the first section with narshada came into came into play so I somehow tried to make the one one mission which encompasses or, or includes both the usual technological uh, Narshada space and something like this where you have lots of lava and lots of you know dangerous environment yeah dangerous environment but nevertheless they they managed to to yeah uh, find funds for for the um, for the tourist office any other f questions folks So uh, yeah, this entire part of the map is invisible on the, on the, on the map. Question: wh When do we get a sequel? Ah, okay. Well, well, uh, well placed question. Uh, so we can yeah. I, I said there will be some other bonuses to answer. So I've been already yeah. I, I anticipated that question, and uh, I've got one one uh, thing to to uh, one thing to humorous thing I prepared. I have a poster for the next level I, I, uh, 
I uh, wanted to suggest to everyone and here it is my next big project I think this is this is a level which re which really deserves a sequel or actually it will be a prequel to be more to me to be more exact I think mines is such a mines is such a, a uh, uh, such an important thing it it deserves a prequel even if even if, if even if reg elusive reg never explained what happened i think i think uh, uh, kyle's uh, kyle's adventure on the level of fa uh, uh, on the planet of fa has to be somehow explained so the prequel will say prequel will show why and how did he end up on the planet of fa and and uh, lost in the in the interstellar interdimensional uh, gate near the end Yes, it will not be stupid. <laughs> okay, but now joking aside, uh, now now from this point I'm I'm dead serious. Uh, the the uh, for those who were still in the original dark uh, DF21 uh, forum, they will uh, they remember that when I began all this uh, began the fourth quad idea, I said that it would be a trilogy. So this since Lava Planet is the second part, there is still the the third part missing. So yeah, and I will, I will, uh, I will not, uh, I will not uh, 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 break my promise. So, so now speaking a little bit more seriously, here you go, folks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, or at least gentlemen. I don't know if there are any ladies watching. Uh, yes, there will be a three. There will be three. Uh, there will be probably the the third part, which is already well underway. I would say the the I would say the the ge the geometry or the architecture is maybe 90% finished, and the INFs as well. And uh, but uh, what I've got in front of myself is lots of weeks or months of texturing. So yes, uh, hopefully the 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 ATS3 will 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 happen just it's it takes of course lots of uh lots of energy to texture everything still but yeah i've finished i've been working on it since the since the middle of 2021 so hopefully i'll i'll make it uh yeah it will see the light of day yeah uh the as for the question rebel ships uh it is kind of uh yeah this is kind of a suggestion why uh, d this should al al already be kind of uh, ma make you ask question why did it happen and what's happening on the screen actually it will be explained in the mission why is the why is the the rebel uh, uh, why is the rebel uh, uh, shuttle being escorted by two tie interceptors it will be it will be shown in the mission with some with some luck i'll release it sometime in the middle of of this year uh, it's already now larger than the lava planet by the way it has some 12 or 1300 sectors I've been working on it on and off since since the summer and hopefully uh, within within a couple of months I'll have it finished. So yeah, let's see. Anything else from anyone? I'll also announce it on DF21 shortly. But okay, I guess that's it then for now. Uh, maybe in a couple of months we'll have the an another <laughs> development commentary playthrough of the of the third third sequel, so that I finally finally fin finish the trilogy I, I began in 1990. Sorry, in, in year 2000, and uh, hopefully I'll ha I'll try to have it. Hopefully I'll be able to have it finished in less than 19 years. That was the case for the second sequel, but this time ho luckily I've got better better. Uh, I've got better tools available. <laughs> I'll let you do the the fourth uh, the fourth uh, uh, sequel. Okay, that's it then for me, folks. Uh, hope you liked it. If you still, as said, a reminder for those who are maybe watching this offline, uh, a recording. I'm still reachable on on the F21. So if you've got any questions, uh, ask. And that's it for me now. Goodbye. <laughs>